Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. And in this video, we're gonna talk about something that I haven't seen any in any of the patch notes for 117 Experimental, but I think it means we'll have a way to control the ambient air temperature across our servers when 117 goes public in a few weeks time. Now, the reason for this is that if you take a peek in the CFG gameplay, Dot JSON file uh, that came down with experimental. There's an extra couple of lines in it down here environment min temps and environment max temps. And as you can see, these are split up into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve settings for each, which would be the twelve months of the year, of course. And then you've got a minimum and max. So, for example, for January, we have a minimum of minus three and a max of three. Whereas in one, two, three, four, five, six, in June, we have a minimum of 14 and a maximum of 24. Now, these will be in degrees Celsius or centigrade. And I think this is a really exciting um, development because, as you probably already know, within the CFG weather.xml, we can control the weather on our servers. And remember, this applies to PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. Um, but the only way that you had to change the the kind of the temperature of the server was to change the time of year. Um, whereas with this, we can now specify what the temperature will be throughout the year. So let me take a step backwards, because in order to make this work, there's a, there's a few things you're going to have to do. Um, the first thing you're going to have to do in your server dz.config file, or if you're on a Nitrado server, in the um, in this general settings, you have to enable uh, uh, cfggameplay.json. But in the server dz.config file, you need to have that line there enable cfg gameplay file equals one and as i say you know on nitrado servers and maybe others as well where you don't have access to the config file there'll be a setting in the general settings or the advanced settings that will say enable cfg gameplay file and you say yes and that means you can then get into the cfg gameplay file but also what's really important is these settings here um your server time because of the these air temperatures, these ambient air temperatures, um, go off what, what time it is in on your server. And the time and date on the DAISY servers um, basically can, can be controlled in a number of ways. So what you can do is, as it says in the notes, you can put in system time to the server time setting, and that will just follow whatever the system time is on the computer that your server is running on, you know, in a warehouse somewhere. Or you can put in the actual start time you want. So I've put in a start time of 2014, January, the 1st of January at 12 o'clock midday. So that's when my server will start. And then you have server time persistent or not. So if server, pers server time persistent is one or yes, when the server shuts down, it will remember what the time and date is. And when it starts up again, it will carry on. Um, if it's zero, it will start again. Okay, so in this case, you see, because say my server restarted, say, every 12 hours, it would never get out of January the 1st because it would always keep resetting. So this can be, you know, really important when it comes to then adjusting the ambient and air temperatures because you may well want to have server time persistent equals one so that it goes through the time of year or use system time, Um the problem with system time is obviously then in the evening when you come on to play, if you're in the same country as your server, it could be nighttime all the time, which which isn't always that cool um, if you enjoy playing Daisy during the day, which which I do. But then if we go to CFG gameplay.json, we can see we've got minus three, three, minus two, five, zero, seven. Now these minimum and maximum settings will be dependent on two and perhaps three things. So they'll be dependent on the time of day. So it will be warmer at midday. Um, for example, you would have the uh, maximum uh, temperature then and also your altitude above sea level. So, for example, if we look at the the maps, if you were down, you know, on the beach by Cherno at midday in June, that would be lovely and warm. However, if you were up here in the northwest on one of these high hills or sort of small mountains up here or say up at the ski resort um, at night in December, that would be really cold. 
okay now the third thing that may affect it but i don't know could well be whether the wind does as well whether they take into account a wind chill factor but i'm not aware of that um obviously your character is affected by other things as well uh, mainly you know the quality of the clothes that they've got on what the insulation value of those clothes are whether they're damaged or not how worn they are and whether they're wet damp you know or soaked because then then you'll get colder uh, a lot faster but i think this is very really exciting because it gives you something else to um play around with now i've done a little bit of testing on experimental on my pc local server haven't really come up with any conclusions but you know if you can imagine you know you could have a hardcore livonia or chinera server on console or pc where the you know the minimum the maximum temperature say is always minus 10 so it'd be freezing cold all the time so your characters would have to be making sure they're wearing good clothes having fires regularly to make sure that they can give themselves the temperature buff and so on and so forth so i'd imagine we will see more information about this coming out of bohemia interactive and the daisy team closer to the full release of 1.17 with some support of the uh, of these settings i haven't seen anything on their website i've seen anything in the patch notes about this they kind of snuck it in um but there we go individual monthly minimum and maximum air temperature settings will be coming soon to your custom server for console or pc right well hopefully you found that video useful if you have it like you want to see more simple subscribe and i will of course see you again soon